Welcome back to another episode of Mars Anomalies. We're looking at a new site in the southern mid-latitudes of Mars in a region called Promethei Terra. This is in Heinlein. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Lots to see in this one, folks, so let's get cracking on. The high-rise photograph is called Sand Dunes. It was acquired on the 21st of June 2007 at 25 centimeters per pixel. One by one binning was used. The images I'll be showing you are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. Just under 1.3 gigabytes in size. This is a massive photograph. There's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these white dots littered across this region. You can also see there's two or three strips in this photograph that are very blurry and some of the anomalies are in these strips so they do break up a bit when I zoom in on them. But you'll get an idea of what we're looking at. So right there in Hind Line, we've got that site, folks. This is roughly at 64 degrees, 21 minutes south, 115 degrees, 41 minutes east. We'll have a look at some of the anomalies close by towards the end of the video. The first one is going to blow your mind, folks. Check this out. We're looking at the rectangular anomaly over there with a strange L-shaped piece on it. Let's zoom in on that part. I estimate the rectangular part to be about 8 meters long. Check out the L-shape to this smaller part. It's lying almost diagonally across this object. It's got a small dark spherical object over there and then to the side it's got this strange triangular part. I've seen so many of these L shapes. Let's have a look at one other example. Check this out, folks. This is in Elysium Planitia, and this is about 8 meters in length. So, this 90 degree L shape piece, and the one side of here is almost 45 degrees. This is a highly unusual shape as well. Check out the potential opening over here on the one side. So this L-shaped piece over here is a bit smaller, but very similar to this. Next up, we're looking at the block over there, folks. It's about 8 meters long. It's got rounded corners to it. 90 degree angles and then in the center right over there we've got that strange spherical object it looks almost as if it's lying inside an oval opening and then it's got some blurry material on the top sticking over the edge over there this is very strange as well and we're looking at another rectangular part with a small dome-like feature on its center. This is also about 8 meters in length. So it got a rounded arc shape to the one side. It's strange how these anomalies always embedded on the left-hand sides, casting a shadow on the right hand side almost as if there was like a wave of water maybe a flood maybe an explosion who knows that pushed these objects into the surface we see it all over Mars we're looking at that strange rectangular item almost the same size and the usual suspect right there on the top in its center and that's repeated in this item which is about 10 meters in length 
check this out folks it's got like a cylindrical shape to it this one's slightly smaller at about six meters in length and then that looks like a triangular depiction could this be an opening to the right another block about 10 meters in length and it's got a dome like part on the top right there in the center again larger part of here and it's also got a small protrusion or knob in its center highly eroded as well another block or slab there folks about 10 meters across and it's got a small rectangular part on the top these blocks remind me so much of the megalithic blocks with protrusions or knobs on them that we get in Egypt and rains down in South America another item there with a small part on its surface this one's more rectangular in shape parallel with this one side the largest of the pieces this is about 14 meters in length it's got a 90 degree angle to it there and in a small protrusion or knob there on the one side similar item with a small rectangular part on it check that out folks again small part on the top right there in the center again that pattern is repeated over here this piece is about eight meters in length it's got the smaller part again right there in its center strange oval piece of here oblong part lying on the top this is about 10 meters in length check that out it's almost rectangular in shape as well and then we get to triangular depictions check this out guys that's about 10 meters across and the three parts arranged in a perfect triangular pattern and we've seen that so often as well and there again we'll zoom in on that three small objects in a triangular pattern and then that seems to be the case of here as well let's zoom in on that check there three similar disc like parts arranged in a triangle and then this seems to be hollowed out I don't know what this could be natural boulders or rocks who knows folks then we get to the megalithic blocks check this one out it's about eight meters in length uniform width to the two sides that are visible 90 degree angles as well check out this piece i'd say it's about 12 to 14 meters in length 90 degree angles to it and then it's got this strange carved out area yet to the bottom not quite sure what's going on yeah this could be 
a raised part and it's casting the shadow over here it's also got a rounded design to the bottom check out this long narrow piece reminds me of a broken obelisk this is about 12 meters in length folks another piece about the same width over here to the right check out the straight edges parallel sides and the 90 degree angles much like the megalithic blocks we find here on earth right let's zoom down to Heinlein I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly guys this is in Prometheus Terra to the southern part of this region let's briefly have a look at those anomalies again just check out the similarity again folks In my opinion, we're looking at artificially designed and built structures here. Let's have a look at the site over to the east. This is about 80 kilometers to the east. And I called this video the Ancient Ruins of Prometheus Terra. And again, I've got three items three items and then the usual suspects the small parts on the larger rectangular parts there's another one of those very long thin objects there I wonder if this was uh, an ancient megalithic city that was totally devastated with these blocks blown all over the place check out the disc on that block also it looks as if uh, that there is an oval opening this part sticking out of that block Check that out. To zoom out, to give you an idea how large Prometheus Terry is. Check out all the anomalies that I found in this region alone. That concludes this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's have a chat in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of these objects, specifically the L-shaped parts, which says to me they are artificial. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Cheers for now.